Hey, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. This is the first in a new season of GarageBand Q&A, the video series where I do my best to answer your GarageBand questions. Let's get stuck in. Natalia Pixa asked on YouTube, do I have GarageBand straight on, or already on, I guess, or do I have to buy or download it? Thanks for that, Natalia. GarageBand from macOS comes pre-installed on all new Macs, along with apps like iMovie, QuickTime, etc. If you were to buy a second-hand Mac or perform the fresh OS install or something like that, and don't have it installed, it can be downloaded for free on the Mac App Store. It's the same story on iOS. GarageBand comes pre-installed on all new iPhones and iPads with storage over 32 gig, and also exists as a free download on the App Store if you don't have it available. Keep in mind that both of these pre-installed versions of GarageBand lack the full amount of instruments, loops, and sounds available straight out of the box. To download all available sounds on GarageBand for macOS, go to the GarageBand menu in the top left of the toolbar, hover over Sound Library, and select Download All Available Sounds. And then go to work, or go to sleep, or take your significant other on a four-day city break, as this download takes forever. GarageBand for iOS has a different system for adding content called the Sound Library, you can get to it from the sound browser or by tapping Get More Apple Loops in the Loop Browser. Either way, you'll be able to pick and choose what new loops, touch instruments and sounds you want to make available. The next question comes from the GarageBand Users Group on Facebook. David Porter asked, Can anybody tell me how to get GarageBand on the Mac to record slash save the effects, such as the pedal effects, that I manipulate as I record my instrument? When I stop recording and play the track back, it sounds normal. No wah-wah or tremolo or anything. Great question, David. That won't have the answer you're looking for, I think, as unfortunately the answer here is no. You can't record effects like the wah-wah pedal in real time in GarageBand for macOS. GarageBand lacks the ability to record track automation in real time that you'd find in Logic Pro 10, for example. So for now at least, you'll need to dial in those wah-wah effects after the fact using automation. Finally, Callan Lanfear got in touch via email to ask, how do I loop something I want to play for like four minutes? Thanks for your time. On GarageBand for macOS, there's a really simple way to do this. First off though, swap out the default beats and project setting on the LCD at the top of GarageBand's window for the beats and time option. This way you'll know when you hit four minutes or whatever time you're going for. If you hover your pointer over the right end of any region, you'll see two options appear. The loop pointer is what you'll need. Now just click and drag to loop your region to whatever length you want. On GarageBand for iOS, double tap the region to bring up the editing options and select loop to enable the same functionality. So there you have it. If you have your own GarageBand question you'd like me to answer on the show, there are a few ways to get it to me. You can leave a comment below this video. You can get in touch on Facebook, either on the GarageBand Guide Facebook page or the excellent GarageBand users group. And you can also find me on Twitter. Links to all those are in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, then hit that like button. I really appreciate it and you'll be helping the channel out too. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to ring the bell to make sure you don't miss a thing. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.